Okay, welcome. So what I have is the inverse tangent of negative square root of three divided by three. And what exactly that's saying is the tangent of some angle is equal to the negative square root of three divided by three. The range when dealing with the inverse tangent means that the function has to be between negative pi halves and a positive pi halves. So what I need to do is remember the tangent of an angle represents the y coordinate over the x coordinate when dealing with coordinate points that you know on our unit circle. So what I need to determine is what coordinate points are first of all going to produce me with a negative angle, or I'm sorry, a negative value that is within my range. Well, nothing in the first quadrant is going to produce that because those are all positive values. But if I look at my fourth quadrant, I need to determine the ratio of what two points is can produce me with a value of negative square root of three over three when I take the y coordinate over the x coordinate. So what I look at is my point at right here, which is negative pi over six, produces the point at negative one half divided by the square root of three over two. As I rationalize, I'm sorry, as I multiply by my reciprocal, therefore I end up getting a negative one square root of three, and then as I rationalize that denominator, I get a negative square root of three over three. So therefore, at that angle, which is here, which is negative pi six, I get a value of negative square root of three over three, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Make sure we don't include the positive angle because therefore that positive angle goes outside of our range, which we cannot do. We have to make sure we fall within the range of negative pi halves and pi halves. Therefore, the t inverse tangent of square, negative square root of three divided by three is equal to a negative pi over six. Or, under saying it another way, Tangent of negative pi over 6 is equal to negative square root of 3 divided by 3. Thanks.